UWF Junior League features a visiting star from the United States, Tommy Cairo. He met Hiromitsu Karahara. Let's take a look at what happened in that exciting match. And right now in the blue corner to your right is Tommy Cairo going against Hiromitsu Kanehara. Okay, Gene, tell us about these two fellas. Well, we've got a bit of a weight mismatch here. Tommy Cairo coming in at about 240 pounds against Kanehara's 210. That's 30 pounds of uh, weight up there that has to be overcome. But I have a feeling he's going to do it. Kanehara is, is uh, smaller, but he has that kicking ability and striking ability. Tommy Cairo, basically a wrestler. And I, I think Kanehara has too many tools for Cairo to overcome. I'm looking for Kanehara to win this, particularly by softening him up with the low kicks to the legs. And then when the leg is giving out on him, he'll have him to play with. Gene, these are listed as junior league matches. Exactly what is junior league? Okay, the junior league are the younger fellas who have just qualified. They are not yet uh, considered good enough to move up to the senior league, and they actually have their own division. They're awarded points for each time there's a tournament. They accumulate points at the end of the year. They judge who's the winner. The top boys move into the senior division. We talked about the rules earlier. Uh, we've seen a few slaps, and they look pretty hard. Uh, can a guy actually close his fist, or uh, what kind of a fist can he use to hit someone else? You can hit to the body with a fist, but when you go to the head, you have to have your hand open. So you can either slap or use the palm of the hand. Now, if you use the palm of the hand, that's deadly. That's as hard, much harder, actually, than a punch. And now, at this point, though, Tommy Cairo seems to be having trouble stopping the kick to his left leg, and Kanihara keeps working on that. Now, think back to when you were in school. Remember the old dead leg? Somebody would come up and knee you in the, in the thing, and you'd fall down. Well, that's actually what he's doing. He's hitting the side of the leg, going in the back, and hitting the sciatic nerve. Does that enough, the guy's going to drop. Now he's got a leg lock on, and Cairo has to escape and loses the first point. And so... Cairo stands up, and Kanehara stands up, and they're about to go at it again. Right now, the referee is checking Cairo's uh, uh, leggings, I guess that's what you would call them, and uh, making sure that they're, uh, they're okay and he's not going to get hurt. Shin protectors, but there again, Tommy Cairo has no idea how to stop the right kick to his left leg. After a while, uh, Kanehara's just going to keep chopping at the trunk and not to have the tree fall down. I'd like to remind you, there's a... A suplex over. Cairo's got Kanihara on the floor. He's got him in the middle of the ring. It could be trouble, but uh, right now Kanihara's struggling. Uh, he may he may be able to get over to the side. No, he turns it around. He does a reverse, and now Cairo finds himself in the ropes. Actually, they just rolled into the ropes. No, they're saying that Cairo escaped, so he lost a point for that. Sakuraba's up by a point. Now watch this. When they're separating him, Kanihara's going to kick into that leg again. Tommy knows that's happening, so he's getting on him, and he's starting to use that weight advantage. It's a very good throw, and uh, Kanihara lost a point for that. For you folks who are used to watching exhibition wrestling, what we see right now, what we see right now when they do those suplexes, those guys are really coming over on the back of their neck. This is no show. This is for real, and it really hurts, and there's a definite probability, possibility, that they can break their neck, they can get stunned, they can not get knocked out. Well, I've been in the ring before when I was younger with a little boxing and kickboxing, and those things hurt, but I tell you, when you get picked up backwards like that and slammed with all your weight on your neck, uh, that's scary to me. I think, I think the conditioning of these young Japanese wrestlers is, is tremendous, and it does save them from a lot of injury, but when you're going against a guy who weighs maybe 30 or 40 pounds heavy... Oh, what a perfect knee to the head. Cairo fell into that, he's down. Okay... This could be a countdown now if he doesn't get up. No, he's in he, trouble. He's in trouble. He's, he's falling he's over. Up. This could be a countdown. And it's out. Absolutely. It's out. And now Connie Hardo has won the match. And he climbs up and revs up the crowd as Cairo is actually knocked out. And the A's run into the ring. A Jim, real exciting match. You mentioned earlier the Americans wrestle. And you see the Japanese do the martial arts striking. There's the reason. There's the answer. It works. And the crowd comes alive here as Hiromitsu Kanehara tops Tommy Cairo in a 15-minute junior league match. A lot of excitement, and Cairo is still on the mat. He's They're stunned. trying to bring him up, and now he finally sits up and hopefully is okay. But you could tell the man was totally stunned and then literally passed out from that kick or knee, should I say, to the head. Okay. Right now, we're going to take a, a replay, Gene. 
Show us what's happening. Well, there it was. Tommy Carr was trying to get in and wrestle. He let his face get in, didn't protect it. Connie Hart saw it and just delivered a knee to the head and knocked him out. You can't take those. Nobody can take those. Have you ever seen a slow motion? There's a suplex. Have you ever seen a slow motion replay in wrestling? This is a first, ladies and gentlemen. There you saw it. A suplex. And he's on his way out. Our exciting, exciting match as Kanehara beats Cairo.